everyone, it's CJ here, and I've been busy, busy, busy working on stuff. Uh, best time to do it is when I'm feeling great, and I have had some really good days. So let me show you what was, what's going on. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, Steffi, who is Little Red Wagon on YouTube, for sending me this beautiful, beautiful fabric. Uh, she had shown it on her channel and uh, just got it. Uh, I wanted to make a cover. This is my uh, journal of fives that I wanted to make a cover for. And basically I just wrapped it around the edges, you know, the typical way of doing that. I had this old <clears throat> music sheet and I thought it was kind of cute, Turkey in the Straw. And then on the back side, let's see, I found uh, chicken reel. So <laughs> I thought, oh, that just goes so good with this, uh, this print. And I just love it. Um, the Journal of Fives. Well, I'm not going to go through this, but this, you know, you know what this is. They're all over YouTube right now. But anyway, thank you, Steffi. And I'm still using this material. Uh, for a lot of other things, so making embellishments, and this is a flower that I just got through making with it. This is the material right here, and then back here, this is the hand-dyed bias tape that uh, Candace Scarborough had sent me, and I really appreciate that. Uh, that has, fits in there just so well with some very 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 old buttons and some eyelash trim and then that can either be glued on or clipped on to something I originally thought about putting it on the journal but I don't think I'm going to do that I think it's too much but anyway thank you to Stephanie and also thank you to uh, Candace for this bias tape that uh, you have hand dyed uh, with um, Candace if you are interested in purchasing any of this she does have a YouTube, uh, no, let's see, she has an Etsy channel, so uh, check out her um, YouTube and you can, it'll take you to uh, where her Etsy things are. Okay, now, I also made, from this packet, I have a friend at uh, a Goodwill store that saves some goodies for me. Um, there wasn't a whole lot left in here, but for a dollar it was wonderful because I just, you know, I, I can't go out and buy Graphic 45, but, you know, because it, it's not an inexpensive paper, but I dearly love it. But from that, I went ahead and made this little, I think it's called a coupon folder, but anyway, it's really pretty cute. You just uh, can flip it this way and flip it this way in there and then here you've got a little tag okay and then you can flip it over you've got a little tag here then you can flip it down you've got another tag here Okay, and then let's see, it goes out also this way. You flip it out and out. So, I guess you could put pictures in there, notes, anything, but I think the um, information I originally saw on it was, it was, I think it was a coupon holder, but anyway, there's that. And that turned out really cute. I really enjoyed the way that went together. I've, not sure if I'm going to give that as a gift or hang on to it. We'll just have to kind of wait and see. Okay. And then the next thing I was working on, I like to make lists. And this is not done yet, but it's just one of those single sheet um, little, little journals that you can make. And basically, you know, I went ahead and put the... Uh, uh, up here at the top, I can get a hold of it. My fingers are kind of slick. Okay, give it up, give it up. There we go. All right, there you go. 
I put those in the top like that and I'm going to put some just maybe some tea dyed paper or something inside so I can write on it and keep it for I was thinking like for my different swaps the dates and addresses and stuff and it's also a good size that you can put it into your purse uh, with something like that, it's just the old standard one sheet type of journal where you have your 12 by 12 piece of paper you take and you fold it in half and then you turn it and you fold it in half again and then let's see, you fold the sides in and you really should leave a little bit of space right here uh, basically because once you get that all folded down it doesn't lay quite right unless you do that all right and then from this spot here to this spot here you take your exacto knife and cut a slit kind of like a mouth okay and then when you've got it like this you just kind of let's see if I can show you push it together like this lift that up a little bit push it together like this uh, problem is I can't get it high enough and you'll be able to see with the camera there we go all right like milk see and then you just push it together see what you've got there and then you can just kind of start folding it on top of each other. Now, there is going to be a top and a bottom to this. And the area that's like this, I left those open. And then the area like this between, and I went ahead and put some tape in there. And um, then you can go ahead and decorate it from there. But super, super easy. Okay. Um, envelope journal. Getting ready to work on this thing. I've got my friend again at the uh, Goodwill store had boxes of these envelopes. I just can't believe it. One end of them had been wrinkled super, super bad. And she asked me if I wanted them. And I said, well, yeah. So anyway, I went ahead and put it together. And it's going to be an envelope journal. You see how I just did that type of a binding. And then, okay, right here, That'll hook to the outside cover. And I left this open for a place to put something in there. And then on the next page, I left the top open. And um, that way you can slip something in there also. Uh, super easy. Just take your envelopes, seal them up, glue them down into your hills and valleys. And there's lots of YouTube videos on how to do that. And then later on, you can take and put the cover on it. But it's going to be a nice one once it's done. Okay, let's see how much time we've got. A little bit, not a whole lot. Okay, I have been working on the deconstructed journal pages, which is on um, Facebook. And so far, this is what I've gotten. Show these real quick. This is the first one that I made and sent to my partners, like this. Okay, and then these were my partners that sent to me. And these are all just really wonderful. I really, I think each one of them is just. Fantastic. I love them, love them, love them. Somebody had made the comment, well, I, I'm just not a good enough artist. I can't do that. Well, it's not a case of being a good enough artist. You just get in there and you have fun with it. You don't have to be able to draw perfect those flowers. You just have to have fun with it. Some people just worry way, way too much. Bloom where you are planted. I love, love, love that statement. I have said that to my students when I was teaching so many times. Okay, this is the next group. And this was the one that I made for my group. 
and this was the inside and the back side. This was done with a jelly print, washi tape. And basically, if you're not familiar with this, you take an 8 by 8 piece of paper and you fold it in half. And then you're going to have two sides that you're going to create some type of artwork on and then one large side that you're going to create artwork on. Now, with some of the socks they have a theme and some of them they don't. You just have to check into it on Facebook. Here's the next one. Love that lady. Oh, she's so cute in that bird. And this one, she's got these little envelopes in there. That is the cutest thing ever. <coughs> Excuse me. Another envelope. This one, you can see there's lots of layers to this. Lots and lots of layers. Okay. Alright, and then these are some... Well, wait, here's one more. This one <coughs> I just got from Jenny Jabs. I love tea. It's beautiful. It's got a nice finish to it also. Okay, those are the swaps. Now, I did get a uh, swap in which it was uh, ephemera, and I made this card, I'm sorry, this uh, page that I'm going to add to my journal from just the ephemera that was sent to me. And uh, Melissa Aronson is the one that sent me the material. And that was a different swap. I just thought I'd take the ephemera and, and make the cop, the uh, page. But I like the way that turned out. Every bit of this is just from what she sent me. Okay. And then this one, the same way. I made the uh, page from the ephemera that uh, Shimi sent me. was from her. And then this is one I'm still working on. Love shoes. Colorful shoes. This one's not done yet. This is for a swap coming up. And I think you can see lots of doodles on there. Lots of circles. And this is for a swap that I believe I just sent in. And it's also I don't remember if that was owls or doodles or what this one was. Okay. Uh, okay, and then here again, bloom where you're planted. Love, love, love that statement. There's the little pussy cat. I love this little pussy cat. I love making her. And this is a door. How to decide what I want to do with that? That's a jelly print. Okay, and that pretty much takes care of it. I've uh, been busy, busy, busy working. Uh, one thing is we just haven't had any power. The uh, silly uh, storms keep coming through and knocking everything out, and the TV is out, so good time to get in there and make some fantastic art. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this, and uh, we'll catch you all later. Thanks a lot, and bye-bye.